All right, it's finally here, except that you monkeys are saying, please watch Appraisal Lisa Kai. It's already out. No, it's not out. It got leaked. Do you know what happens if I react to a leak show? I know Konosuba episode one and two is already out. It looks bad if you react to leaked episodes, okay? But it's finally officially out. This is another quote unquote trashy isekai about a kid that can do appraisal how how unique could this be because like every isekai main character appraisal is like one of the most default skills they have right so surely an isekai specifically about appraisal will go even in more depth let's begin today's reaction summer force taedic Summer Force. seven kingdoms too many names god damn it Ansel basically took over and made an empire. Okay, okay. Dad died. Goodbye, Dad. That I never knew. Is this the main character? Lord Ars? Alright. He's a uh, Luven to Master now. The main character is a salary man. Is Truckun gonna be present? This is straight up my life. As soon as I graduated college and I got a job, this is straight up my life. <laughs> White collar office job. <laughs> Go back to an empty apartment after, you know, commuting home. <laughs> empty apartment, get home. <laughs> just fucking play games or just do other shit. And the next day you gotta go to work. Yep. Oh, heart attack? Heart attack? No truck, Kun. Bro got a heart attack from work stress, I guess? Is there a goddess? Appraisal. Appraisal? Look how small he is. Three year old kid just walking around just asking questions like that. Appraisal? So, like, infantry D, Smith D, diplomacy. I mean, it's just like appraising a person's stats, their innate abilities, and stuff like that. But, like, every Isekai character already has that. You know what I mean? Most people have that. So, like, how more different can this isekai specifically about uh, about appraising? Okay, you can figure out what they're what can be good at, any potentials. Okay, pick up a bow. Appraised. So he'll go around appraising people, looking at their hidden potential, tell them to train this way, and then basically get his own family, his own house strong. <laughs> Kind of shitting on the reins. <laughs> Fucking Leonardo from Lord of the Rings, bro. Immediately. Sorry, legalist, legalist, not Leonardo. <laughs> right in the bullseye. Watch him hit the same fucking spot three times in a row. Yeah, just be an archer, bro. Just be an archer, bro. Oh, archery and shooting people down at a range distance is for pussies. And as soon as a bunch of these people start glazing you up, you're like, oh, 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 oh okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up the bow. Appraised. Ah, instinct. Yeah, just a lucky guess. Probably not smart to give that away, yeah. He's so tiny. Okay. Everyone else he can appraise except himself. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. What could he be good at? Understanding other people's powers. Dead dad. He's going to die. Appraise dad. What is he good at? Leadership. 86 out of 86. Prowess. Ingenuity. Diplomacy. Ambition. Archer, build, DBDD, he's a good archer. Infantry, cavalry, S. Yes. All right, cool to see. Raven Luvent, 30 year old old. He used to be a farmer, but he rose to noble by himself, okay. Bro can take on 10 dudes at once, interesting. Alright, we're already hammering in the theme that like the kid is all about looking at people's potential and growing them. The ability to discern the gift of others, an important talent for a lord, being able to basically have leadership, raise your own people, be strong, you know, stuff like that. So the story will revolve around not necessarily the main characters, ridiculous powers, but basically making everyone else OP around them. So that way, I can definitely see a unique aspect of an isekai. Because an isekai main character, usually, they're the ones that's so cracked, right? They're the ones that does everything. 
But in this show, it seems like main character Aris is going to make everyone else around him cracked and have them fight on his own behalf. That's what it seems like so far. Why? Other than your dad dies. Okay, the rulers of the Summer Fourth Empires are corrupt. Okay. Let's go, peasants! Wait a minute. Did I just see a fucking girl? A little. <laughs> it just looked like the girl was also charging into battle with the teddy bear for a second. Because I see these peasants, you know, revolting against each other and I see, like, you know, bandits and shit. But I'm like, is this girl fucking fighting too? No, she just happens to be there in the same fucking front line. <laughs> Better start early, kid, and make sure everyone around you is cracked with your appraisal skill. Why is there no baldies? Come on. Jimmy and Bald NPC. They fucking suck at everything. They all suck at everything. But oh, we got a strategist C and C, okay, but they're all D's. Okay. Oh, this guy was in the opening. This is important, right? Racist! Racist! Across the sea. Okay, different race of people. Marcus. Now we're gonna appraise him and watch him be really good at something. Aww, little three old kid chilling with bread. It's the prince! Aww. Look at these stats, bro! A S A S A. He's cracked. He's he's 14. Reads muses 14 male as leadership prowess engineer. These are fucking cracked already. Archer A, builder S, smith A, strategist as yo and, and recruiter. This guy's got a couple A's and S's. Goddamn. What? <laughs> this is fucking level one. He fucking you know uh what's it called? Level one gang member and this is like level 100 mafia boss. Look at what he could become. Nobunaga. That was actually the game Legend of Nobunaga that he was playing before he got a heart attack, right? But okay, this is what Nobunaga is about. Okay, okay. Alright, we, we found Nobunaga, guys. Bring him home. Whose voice actor is this? This low baritone voice kind of sounds like Sung Jin Woo. You know what I mean? It's probably not him, but it kind of sounds similar. He's so tiny. It is him? No shit, this is Sung Jin Woo's voice actor, really? Arise! <laughs> now he has to say, my liege instead, because if this is Sung Jin Woo's voice actor, and now this kid's basically saying, arise. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, I got an isekai skill. But he's the heir. You can figure it out. You can't just take my fucking bread and then leave. Hey, that wasn't free. You're supposed to come back with us. Yeah, those stats were crazy. Give him more bread. Yeah, more food. Exactly. Here we go. Give him free rent and then free food. Damn. Oh, that was easy. Bro, look at this. Oh, you got like the easiest. What the fuck? Make it the fuck back in the kitchen and bring my man some goddamn cake. Racist. The maid and the butler. Racist. Fire these chefs. <laughs> He's so tiny, he has to pull the chair for so long. 
You dare disrespect my honored guest? That's what I thought. She medium rare. Oh, nice. I bet the dad would be okay with it. I bet the dad would trust our instincts. As long as he can produce results, I think he'll be fine with it. But dad! He's so cracked! Let him try something! Dad, come on! Dad, you said yourself. Being able to distinguish potentials in your own people is an important trait in becoming a lord. So then we just have to prove it right now and be like, Dad, you told me to do this. Jesus Christ, overwhelming in fear. Due to what? Is it like actually? Like, do they have like, weak, like lesser powers? I mean, according to the potential, this guy's fucking cracked. What do you mean inferior? Explain yourself. Why can't they? Because you're just racist? Okay, it's just like conventional wisdom. Like racism spreads far. Everyone just has the, you know, the idea that Mal whatever that race is, they just suck. Mm. God-given talents through our God-given talents. Just test him. He'll show results. Because my skill... <laughs> I can't tell you. My instinct. Just trust me, bro. <laughs> this entire anime so far is like, how do you know that? <laughs> I just know. Just trust me, bro. All right, fine. Cool. cool. You can rise up. Hmm. Not even land a hit. If he wins, he passes. This malnourished kid, we just fed him. But it's like a 14-year-old kid where it's like a 30-year-old lord. Yeah, bro, he's like a Malnir's 14-year-old. Why not just like one shot land? Reese, can you do it? Oh, oh. you're going to handicap yourself? What's the handicap? All right, kid, let's fight. <laughs> Because your potential is insane, bro. You're like Nobunaga, bro. No, he's just probably shocked that there's someone willing to go this far. This three-year-old kid needs you! That's actually crazy that the three-year-old kid is instilling this much motivation and hype. What's the handicap? Maybe he'll fight with like a weaker weapon? Okay, okay. It's, it's, the, it's not like battle, like duel to the fucking death and you have to actually win. No. The winning is land one blow. This is a lot more fair. Damn. I love this shit, dude. I love this shit when you're about to duel and says, you know, I am this name from this house, you know, stuff like this. He would have died? Classic, classic, classic. Yeah, he's keeping up with the Lord and he's going all out, maybe? Lord's going all out, yeah? Get up! Nah, 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 he's gonna do it. Ritz gonna do it, bro. Makajin, let's go! Do it for the three-year-old kid, come on! That's right! Three-year-old Riz! Sung Jin Woo! Oh yeah, that is so solo leveling, dude. That is so Sung Jin Woo. The environment! The sun! Smart, smart! Did he get a hit? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that hit! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's another classic one, huh? <laughs> and then the hair falls off a little. There it is. No way! This Makajin is kind of crazy! 
He was pretty smart there, using the environment. You know, a solar flare on daddy. It's gonna like become our best fucking, you know, person here. This three-year-old kid is pretty cracked at identifying. Sucks that we know that the dad's gonna die though. Did you just spoil the fucking show for me, father? Come on. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, that's like the natural progression, right? <laughs> this is Joe? Mm. So this is a pretty small house, right? Like a small lord of such a small domain. But like the show is called like, I'm going to use my appraisal skills to like rise the ranks of some shit. So I think it makes sense that he'll go from like a relatively lesser known house, right? Of a lord to like emperor. Look at that. No more racism? Cool. Reed's actually gained the respect. Oh. Look at the new drip. Look at that drip. He's looking more like a butler now. <laughs> Look at those butler gloves too. He's such a good person that even though he's supposed to be military only, he became a butler too. Malij! トレジンデイたことでしょう。本当にありがとうございました。アルス様からいただいた豪運を返すと、ここに誓います。プリグ。ここから僕の最強領地作りが始まった。And that's the episode. Hey, I know this is another <laughs> generic isekai, but it's a little different in the sense that the main character, right? It's not really like centered around his OP powers and him being able to solo everything. It's more about the people around him and how he can build them up to make them strong and then we can fight like that. So I think that is an interesting twist to the classic isekai genre that we all know and the appraisal skill again, everybody knows. And in terms of the voice acting, the animation, the production value looks pretty good. It's not like a mind-blowingly new fucking plot. It's so unique, but I think it's pretty interesting and I hope that you guys enjoy that we can add to our weekly roster of anime to watch. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.